Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Before I get started with this video, I just want to let you know I will be streaming today on the new Hive Sonic game mode. It has actually really got me excited to actually grind this game mode out. I tried it a few games and if you're enjoying this new background gameplay, because I personally love it, I'm going to be grinding to level 10 today, which should be the match level 4 Sonic game mode. But I just want to let you guys know about that. You are more than welcome to join or grind with me. But yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so for this topic of the video, do control freaks actually help your controller aim? Now, I just want to start off with these first. This takes a lot of time to get used to with these new control freaks, or should I say old? Some of you are probably aware of what this looks like or what you've seen. You've probably seen this or heard about this before. I personally had them back when I was still on my Fortnite days, but basically they're these little thumb grippers or thumb sticks that actually comfort your thumbs. They are pretty soft and very grippable. Like they really grip on really good. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's pretty good. I'll even show it on a display right here. They actually come in different styles. This is personally from my controller, so if you actually want to get some, look it up on um, Amazon or some other ordering stores. They actually probably have some at, you know, different locations near you, but I would personally order it because you're not going to find many of these at the store. But moving on, guys, back from the currency, time to move on. Does it actually improve your aim? That's going to be a yes and a no. I would personally say it all depends on how patient you are because the moment you get on these things, guys, your aim is going to be like ripped off, meaning you can't aim at all. This is going to take a lot of muscle memory for your muscles to get used to because basically this is going to take a lot of time. And when I say a lot of time, it's going to take a lot. And basically, the reason why I say that is because you're not used to having such big thumb, thumb grippers, but at the same time, these are supposed to help comfort your thumbs and help them put yourself in the right position of where you're aiming. But basically guys, like I said, when you're on day one of these thumb grippers, you're not going to be as good. Please do not tell me why am I not good with this stuff. This was a rip off. It's actually not a rip off guys. No matter what game you're playing, your game, your aim will be so much better, literally so much better. I would say the first seven days, or actually five days, because I've been using these. I actually got back on these since like four days ago. And as I'm recording this video, it's been like seven days, but I'm not gonna lie to you, I didn't play today. So I'll be playing again to tomorrow, which is Friday, because as I'm recording this video, it's actually Thursday because I had to run a little bit late, guys, because I just got back home from vacation. It was a pretty good vacation, but moving on. She, like I said, guys, as you start on day one, it's not going to be easy, but every day is going to be a new challenge, and you're actually going to be improving. Some people may be even accusating you, but it's not about that. It's about perfecting your aim, right? Well, that's a yes and a no, but it's not just that. Your control freaks, or should I say just control freaks, <clears throat> isn't actually supposed to just help your aim. It's supposed to, like, say for Minecraft, for example, if you're really trying to improve your aim, you're really trying to keep that in, you're trying, you're trying to keep that crosshair in the hitbox, right? Well, yeah, that's really good, because what's important with aim, you're supposed to keep your crosshair in the hitbox. Just like on Hive, it's very important because there's a lot of people who like to strafe, right? Yeah, that's right. But not just that, guys. You have to look at the downsides. There are a lot of things about this thing that you should probably know. There are a lot of things that you're probably going to have to adjust. And what I mean by that is the sensitivity. Basically, as you put these things on, you're probably going to have to adjust your sensitivity. Just like saying for getting a new keyboard and mouse, you're probably going to have to adjust this because this is not your average sensitivity. 
but should I say, I say about like, let's say for keyboard and mouse, for example, you know, it's kind of weird and strange and awkward that you're probably going to put it most likely on 30 because that's pretty much an average sensitivity for beginners. And yeah, it's pretty surprising guys, but not just that, you know, you gotta look at patience because the progression of me back when I was playing Fortnite, I'm not going to get into too much depth about it, but you know, it was kind of rough. It got on my nerves a lot. I was raging a lot at the Razor kids back in the day, but you know, it helped me a lot. And when I say the thing that existed in Fortnite was aim assist, which was very special on controller and it still is today. I don't play Fortnite anymore because it's just it's just not my type of game anymore. I moved to Minecraft because I just needed some chill gameplay and some, you know, chill PvP, you know? But not just that guys. Um Minecraft no matter what game it is, your aim will improve, such as Call of Duty, any games you want to play. But for Minecraft, for example, when you're playing high, there's going to be a lot of people, like I said, strafing. And you're going to need that good aim, right? That's right. But not just that, guys. It could be on any type of, um, any type of platform, controller. Um, I would say they probably have some for mobile as well but those are probably a different brand but control freaks are something that allows you to comfort your thumb it's supposed to help you with your aim and accuracy and it's mainly supposed to just calm your thumbs because on these little thumbsticks that you would probably have on your ps4 controller like for me it's very difficult what i say is very annoying because you're actually just trying to you know keep your thumbs on that thumb state and i'm not gonna lie even if they had rubber on it it's super like it's very hard very difficult and it's just it's just rough guys but at the end of the day there's always going to be a way to help that but what i say for the first seven days you're going to get the feeling adjustments of it but then the next few days, you're probably going to fall off a little bit, just a little bit. But then you're just going to pick back up because basically you're trying to get your muscles to memorize how you perform with these things and how will it improve. And obviously, there's a higher chance that you will improve. That goes for every single player, no matter what you, no matter who you are. It's going to help you a lot. And like I said, guys, this works for PC xbox and mobile and yeah that's pretty much the get-go of it now how would i how was i improving with it well i would say it's probably like eight days now which is like one week and one day now so <laughs> it's like i would say this it's pretty good obviously i've already experienced how it is and obviously it was worth it not a ripoff <laughs> It's very cheap, guys. Honestly, these things are very cheap. But some of them, they'll probably charge you higher. But most likely, I just look for the ones that cost around like $15, which is not a lot. Probably to some people, it may be. But, you know, it's not that much, guys. Trust me, if you go on Amazon, they have lower prices than that. eBay, I'm not so sure about. But Amazon, that's my go-to order system. And yeah, guys, if you have any questions whatsoever on how you feel about these things, like I said, let me know in the comments. Also, I will be streaming, like I said, on the new Sonic update. And yeah, guys, that's all for me. See you later.